Hi, I'm Ira Thravedi and welcome to another episode of Yoga Ira. Today we're going to be focusing on energy and relaxation and I'm going to be giving you two 10 minute segments to help you achieve this. The asana of the day is Griev Asana. This asana is a fantastic preparation for headstand. It's also really good for our, our hormonal health. It stimulates our thyroid gland and our pineal gland and it's fantastic for our back, neck and hamstrings. It may look a little difficult, but over time with practice, anyone can achieve this. So let's do the Griev Asana together. Lie flat on your back, bend the knees, and bring the heels towards your hips. Place your palms on either side of your head, close to your temples. Now push down on your hands, and raise your whole body. Place the crown of your head on the floor. Bring your arms and cross them on the chest. Balance now on your head and feet and continuing breathing, building your balance. Inhale and exhale. Focusing on your feet and on the crown of your head. Now slowly bring your arms down, head step back, and you can hug your knees to your chest to relax your head and your neck. Come back and lie in Shavasana. So typically, when you're very tired, all you want to do is go lie down on the sofa or take a nap. You don't want to do any sort of physical activity, especially not exercise. But yoga is different. Yoga can actually help energize you. And just a 10 minute of sequence of yoga can give you hours and hours of energy. What yoga does is that it works on your nervous system. And at the same time as working on your meta metabolic functions, it really helps energize every single part of our external internal bodies. So come, let's do a 10 minute sequence to get you ready to face the day. As always, we begin our 10 minute sequence with the Kapalabhati. The Kapalabhati is a deeply cleansing Kriya which increases our metabolic functions and helps create beautiful pranic energy in our body. It also pushes all the stale air out of our lungs. So come, let's do three rounds of Kapalabhati together. Sit in a comfortable meditation posture. The head and spine should be straight with the hands resting on the knees in chin mudra. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Now begin exhaling through the nostrils with a forceful contraction of the abdominal muscles. Inhalation should be passive by allowing the abdomen muscles to relax. Inhalation should involve no effort. After completing 20 rapid breaths, Inhale and exhale deeply. Allow the breath to return to normal. Our first asan to warm up our bodies is a Dhruta Hala Asan, which is a dynamic pose. It's a fantastic pose which kickstarts our metabolism and it includes all the benefits of two asans, the Hala Asan and the Paschimottana Asana. So we're getting a beautiful spinal stretch, really awakening our spine. We're getting a great stretch on our hamstrings. And of course, just the movement helps with our digestion. Lie flat on the ground 
with your legs together and place the arms close to the body with the palms facing downwards. Relax the whole body. Now pressing down on the arms, roll the legs back over the head, keeping the legs straight, toes pointed outwards. Now slowly come back, bring your body up and move forward, grabbing a hold of your ankles. Stay here and breathe a few breaths. Inhale, come back into Halasan, stretch your toes out. Exhale, come back up, Paschimottanasan. Inhale back, Halasan. And exhale, come back up, forward bend, Paschimottanasan. Exhale forward, Paschimottanasan, forward bend. Go back in child's pose to counter the effects, which will release all the tension in the neck. The Dhanurasan, or the bow pose, helps awaken and energize all our internal abdomen organs, especially the adrenal glands. So adrenal glands produce a hormone called adrenaline, which gives us an instant boost of energy. So the Dhanurasan helps massage this gland. Sitting in Vajrasana, Lie down on your stomach, arms on your side. Now slowly bring your knees up, grab a hold of your ankles, and stretch your abs. This is subtle Dhanurasan. Now if you can, slowly bring your thighs up, chest up, pelvis up, and bring your chin up. Look up, this is Dhanurasan or the bow. Inhale and exhale, really feeling that beautiful stretch. You can rock back and forth, an extra massage to all your internal organs. Roll, don't forget to breathe. Now you can move to your right, roll to your right, and now to the other side, to the left. Now slowly and gently come back into Dhanurasan, stretch and relax. Next up is a camel pose of the Ushtrasan. It's a beautiful posture for awakening our spine, working on our back and it also stimulates our thyroid gland. So let's do the Ushtrasana together now. Slowly come up on your knees. Inhaling, bring your arms out in front of you. Separate your legs to shoulder width apart. Bring your arms back, chin back, arch your back, and grab a hold of your ankles. Feel the stretch in your spine. Inhale and exhale. Really concentrate on the stretch in your spine and your neck. Don't forget to breathe. Now slowly come up, arms up. Now go back and rest in child's pose, forehead on the ground. Our final asana for the sequence is a standing forward bend with wide legs. It's a fantastic asana for making our spine supple, for bringing the blood to our head and increasing our blood pressure, and also to stimulate circulation. It really opens up our chest to increase oxygen supply to the lungs. Stand with your arms on your side and slowly bring your legs apart. Inhale, raise your arms up and stretch. And exhale, slowly come down, placing the palms 
on the mat in front of you. Push your legs a little further apart, go deeper into your stretch, and now bring your head down, allowing your head to hang here. Inhale and exhale and slowly feel all the blood rush to your head. Let your head swing here to and fro. Now slowly inhaling, come up, bring your arms up, arms down and legs together. Stay here and breathe. I can't emphasize the importance of relaxation. Relaxing our bodies and our minds is as important as toning our bodies or for losing weight. But these days, we don't even care about it. Very rarely is the human body relaxed, even while we're sleeping. So this segment is focused on just relaxation and we're gonna be doing 10 minutes of it. I recommend that you do this segment together, but even if you take out one of these asanas, which is particular to your problem, it can really help. I advise that you do this right before bed to really give you a beautiful and deep sleep, but this is great for doing any time of the day. We begin, as always, with a pranayam. Today we're going to be doing the Murcha Pranayam. The Murcha Pranayam focuses on breath retention because when we retain the breath or stop it, then we stop all the thoughts in our mind. This is a subconscious response to breath retention. So by doing the Murcha Pranayam, we're relaxing our minds and helping stop thought, which will now help prepare us for our asanas ahead. So let's do the Murcha Pranayam together. Sit in any comfortable seated posture, keeping the head and spine straight. Relax the whole body. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly. Now slowly inhale through both nostrils with Ujjayi Pranayam. While gently bending the head back, straighten the arms and press the knees with your hands. Retain the breath for as long as you can. Now slowly come back, relax your arms, your head, and take a few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Slowly lie back and relax in Shavasana. Our first asan is the Shashank Pujang Asan. This is a fantastic dynamic asan which works on forward bending and also on backward bending and gives us the benefits of doing both. So it's deeply relaxing for our spine which is the main point of tension in our body and it helps release all the tension in our back, spine and hamstrings. Sit in Vajra Asan with your spine nice and straight. Now place your hands on your knees and slowly move your legs apart. Inhale and bring your arms over the head, the arms in line with your shoulders. Now exhale and slowly bring your arms and head down. Your forehead and chin should be on the ground. Your big toes should touch each other. The trunk should rest on your thighs. We are now in Shashank Asan. Hold this pose, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now slowly, without moving your hands, bring your chest forward and slide it upwards like a cobra. Lower your pelvis to the ground, your chin up. Slowly come back into Shashank Asan and relax. This is one round. Now come back into Pujangasan, chin up, Shashankasan, head and forehead down. Inhale, Pujangasan. 
Exhale, Shashank Asan. Now slowly come back into Vajrasan and relax. Now the Adva Asan may look very simple, but in actuality it's not because we have to use our mind to relax every single part of our body as we do this. So when we lie in the posture, we have to mentally suggest to ourselves to relax. But this asana is really, really beneficial. Not only does it relax our mind, it relaxes our body. And it's great, especially for people who have droopy shoulders or bad postures. Lie on your stomach. And now bring your arms up in front of your body, forehead and chin to the ground. Keep your body absolutely straight and relaxed. Stay here and breathe. Focusing on your spine and slowly bringing your breath from your ankles to your calves, to your knees, to your thighs, hips, pelvis, spine, shoulders, elbows, and head. You can bring the pillow underneath your forehead if you're feeling uncomfortable or suffocated. Stay here and breathe. You can bring your palms behind your neck, interlocking your fingers. This is superior pose. Focus on your breath inhaling into every single one of your body parts. The Makra Asana is a fantastic relaxing asana for our neck and for our back. What it really does is that releases all the anxiety and stress that you have from working in the office all day long. But again, it has to be done correctly with focus and with breath to get all of its benefits. Lie flat on your stomach, your chin on the mat in front of you. Now slowly bend your elbows and rest your chin in your palm. You can bring your elbows closer together to give a better stretch in your neck. Make sure your arms are, are at a proper distance. If your arms are too far forward, you'll strain your neck. If they're too far back, you'll strain your back. So find the perfect posture and relax. Now slowly bring your arms back, head down and rest. The Matsa Krida Asan is fantastic for releasing the tension in our perineum, in our chest, and our spine. It's deeply relaxing. It's almost like taking a nap, but much better because it really works on our nervous systems to relax every single part of our body and mind. Lie on the stomach with the fingers interlocked underneath your head. A bend the right leg and bring the knee towards the chest. The left leg should remain straight and relaxed. Bring your arms so that your right elbow is near the right knee. Your head should be resting on your left arm. Stay here, breathe and relax. If you want, you can bring a pillow underneath the knee to relax your pelvis. And really now feel the relaxation in your spine. Now you can do the same on the other side. Inhaling and exhaling 
into each one of your body parts. Now slowly come back, arms back on your side. Our final asan in the sequence is Shavasan, everyone's favorite asan. Now, the Shavasan may look very simple, but yogis consider it to be one of the most difficult asans. Let me tell you why. It's because it is so difficult to properly relax our bodies, and Shavasan forces us to do that. What we're going to do here today is that we're going to focus on relaxing every single part of our bodies starting from our toes to the tips of our fingers to our head. So let me teach you today how to properly relax in Shavasana. Rest in Shavasana, legs apart, arms apart, palms facing up. Every single part of your body should be relaxed. Your head should be in a straight line, not bending to either side. Stay here and relax. Now we're going to tense each part of our body for further relaxation, to go deeper into relaxation. Tense your left toe and relax. Your right toe and relax. Tense your calves, your thighs. Tense, 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 and relax. Tense your hips, your buttocks. Lift them a few inches off the ground, and now relax. Make your hands into fists. Tense your arms. Lift them a few inches off the ground. Tense, 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 and relax. Now tense your back, your neck, your shoulders. Lift your head a few inches off the ground. Tense, 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 and relax. Now tense your face. Tense, 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 and relax. Tense your whole body. Tense, 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 and relax. Now relax, inhaling and exhaling. Now slowly, with an inhalation, stretch your arms and legs and come into a seated posture. Sit comfortably now in a meditative posture. I hope you're beautifully relaxed after Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Yoga Ira. Please join me next week. Until then, get fit, be healthy, stay happy. Join the Yoga Lution.